everybody how's it going figured I'd do a morel mushroom cooking video in the daylight where you can see everything a little better it's pretty much gonna be similar to the one I did my first night at this camp but I'm gonna show you guys a little more in depth of how I do it I mean it's simple there's really not that much to it but I also found a whole bunch today and they'll be on the video anyways so check it out if you haven't seen it yet but anyways, this is how I cooked the haul from today. The rest are soaking, but I left a handful, just enough for me to eat, in the bag. I cleaned them out, soaked them. They're all ready to go. This is one of the bigger ones I found today, actually. So I'm just going to throw these in the frying pan. I'm going to show you guys how to season them up. And I'm not going to show the cooking because that only takes a couple minutes. It really is a really fast process once you get this part done. But it's got butter. You can use butter or cooking oil, like I said before. And that's really it for getting your pan ready. And just get it hot. It's obviously sizzling right now, so it's ready to go. And here's my seasoned salt and my flour. Now, you don't have to flour them, but that's what I'm going to do. So what I'd usually do if I don't have flour is just wait for that to get boiling like it is now or bubbling. It's hot, ready to go. And then pretty much just sprinkle the seasoning and the oil and then drop these mushrooms into them. It's as simple as it gets. And they'll cook down kind of till they're, I mean, they're pretty solid when you first get them, but when they kind of have a loose, kind of floppy look to them, they're not, they're not firm anymore, basically. They lose all their water when you cook them out. Because if you, if you were to squeeze one of these or dry them out, for people that have dried them out, they get super small. So anyways, you wait till they get really small, I guess is the best term for it. They'll shrink down and not have their firmness to them anymore. They'll be just really, really fragile and easy to pull apart. And that's what you want. You don't cook them for long at all. Like I said, they'll shrink and you'll, that's pretty much it. You cook them as long as you want. I mean, you could cook them for a really long time if you have meat in there with them. But if you're just doing it by themselves, just sizzle them a little bit, just flip them around. And when I do the flour, I just wait for the flour to get brown. And that's my favorite way to do it, is just dip these in flour. That way you know when the flour is brown, they're done. But yeah, when you're not cooking with flour, just frying them in butter and garlic or something like that, you kind of have to watch them a little more. But I mean, it's not going to kill you if they're a little undercooked. There is bugs inside of them. That's why you got to soak them, for people that don't know or haven't hunted morels before. Inside all these cavities, little bugs will hide. They might be ants or... Any, any little type of bug, sometimes you will find several different species inside of one. That's why you soak them to get those all out. And then the cooking is just kind of extra security. But yeah, I'm going to dip these in flour and seasoning, put them in with some elk burger. Well, that's cooking. I'm going to mix up the flour, and I figured I'd show you guys my little trick on that since it's kind of how to cook morel video. I mean, it's, like I said, it's one of the easiest things to cook. But the trick I found best for mixing the flour in when you're doing it with flour is to put it inside of a bag and you and then just shake the bag up. You put your flour, I got my flour and seasoning mixed in. So to seal the bag up and you just shake it around. I mean, you don't even have to seal it. Yeah, then the flour is mixed all in perfectly. So yeah, I'm gonna flip that burger, throw these in, it'll all be done. I'll show you guys finished results. Well, that's it, it's all done. Got the elk burger with the flour, obviously, like I did before. Just add the flour to make it hearty when you're out here. Every little bit helps when you're hiking all day. And then all the mushrooms right up beside it, nice and golden brown. It's ready to go. The whole process took me about 10 minutes. And that was between seasoning them and cooking the burger both sides, about five minutes a side. And then the mushroom was a couple minutes. But yeah, it's all done, ready to eat. I didn't bring any more cheese, unfortunately, or I'd have a cheeseburger, but I'd substitute the morels in. That's okay. But yeah, that's it. Simple as can be in the field. <laughs> cooking morel mushrooms I just found behind the camp pretty cool so yeah that's a little outdoors cooking video right there thanks for watching see you guys in the next video